Hello, and welcome to the tutorial on clinical activity reports for time logs. As a reminder, please make sure you are using Google Chrome as your browser when using eMedley. After you have logged into your student profile, you will find the clinical drop down menu located at the top of the home page. Find eClass and select clinical activity reports. Here you can select from either time logs or time logs grouped. Time logs will give you information related to general everyday count of how many hours completed, while time logs groups will provide a breakdown of hours logged based on specific tasks or patient group. So let's go ahead and take a look at the reporting found under time logs. In the filter, you may select your preferred date range. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will select by date range only, and we will leave the pre-populated date range that has been selected for us. You may also filter by preceptor, which is your clinical faculty. You can select from a name that is found below, or you may search for their name in the search bar provided. Please note, the names are listed by last name, comma, first name. may also filter by clinical site where you logged hours. Again, you can select from an option in the scroll down, or you may type in your clinical site in the search bar provided. You may also filter by approval status, either pending, approved, or denied. You may also filter by time tracking task, and again, there are a list of options that are provided for you to select from. Again, we're going to go ahead and leave these areas blank and just stick with our date range. Once all of your filters have been selected, click Apply. So you can see here all of the hours logged within this date range. Click on the little hamburger located at the top of any one of the columns and select Auto Size All Columns to review the information in a more readable format on your screen. You can see the total time logged in hours and minutes for each of your occurrences in the column highlighted in yellow. In addition to other relevant information such as your preceptor's name, your clinical site, approval status, and the date the log was last modified. In order to extract this data into a report to upload for an assignment, select the Actions tab at the top right side of the page and select Excel. The download will populate at the bottom left corner of the screen. Click on that, and you will see the data has been pulled into an Excel spreadsheet where you can save to your files and upload when necessary. Let's go ahead and close out of that. <clears throat> now let's go back and review the time logs grouped reporting function. So there's one of two ways you can get back to view time logs grouped. You can either select the arrow located next to time logs at the top left side of the page. And that'll bring you back to the report listing homepage. Or while you're in time logs, you may select clinical at the top of the page and then select clinical activity reports. And that'll also bring you back to the report listing homepage. Let's go ahead and click on Time Logs Grouped. And once you've selected that, it will ask you to populate your filters. So you're going to select a date range. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and select the first day of the fall semester, August 24th. And then for my end date, I'm going to go ahead and select the last day of December. And then you also need to select a grouped by option. And you can either select 
by uh, rotation or group by rotation and time log task. And I'm going to go ahead and select rotation and time log task. You may also filter by units, so by hours or minutes. I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank for the purposes of this demonstration. Now that my filters have all been selected, I'm going to click apply. And you will see here that you have your time logged by task and also by your rotation. And for this student, you can see that their time has been logged in simulation and clinical hours. Again, if you need to extract this data and pull into a report, click on Actions at the top right, select Excel. The download will again populate at the bottom left side of the screen here, so click on that. And again, it's going to pull into an Excel spreadsheet that you can save your files and upload as needed. Go ahead and close out of that. Once you are completed with running your time log reports, you may click on the eMendly icon at the top left corner of the page. And it'll bring you back to the main home page. This concludes our tutorial of clinical activity reporting for time logs.